sold the GT3 RS, now he sold the A45. He must have run out of money. Hi guys, and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where I've been off YouTube for a couple of days, but I'm back and uh, we are here. And today's video, we are gonna go all things through my cars. Behind me, what we have right there, that is my BMW M8 competition. That one, well, We'll talk about it in the video, but uh, I'm gonna be talking to you guys because obviously over the years of you guys supporting me on YouTube, I have had a fair few different cars. I've had Lamborghini Huracan, uh, we started with the A45, Audi R8, things of, even a Corvette. And uh, what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna be talking to you why I've been selling all my cars because the GC3 RS went, uh, well, not that suddenly, but then the A45 suddenly went suddenly and I've had a lot of questions of people going, what are you doing? Why are you selling all of your cars? Well, in today's video, you're gonna, I'm gonna be telling you exactly what is coming and why things have been going. Because I did say that the A45 uh, would be replaced. Then, my engine on my Porsche GT4 race car decided to go bang. This means things like that cost money. So here is the M8 Comp. I know I always film this car quite a lot, but I do love it and uh, like I said at the moment it is my sole car but this is going nowhere. It's uh, absolutely going nowhere because I just think for what it is, um, I was looking forward to it for so long and I actually just really enjoy driving it. That's the, the best thing about it is uh, that I really do enjoy driving it and I like it in stealth. I actually really like it in stealth, uh, but I've got a few ideas for this car in terms of uh, there might be a few little subtle mods coming. That's not anything in terms of changing the exhaust, etc. but I have ideas to make this look even better. Obviously, it still looks good as it is, but I do know that we can make this car look even better. Side skirts, you can get front splitters, you can get a little bit of a bigger lip on the back, etc. You can get wheels. Uh, the exhaust is already good enough. I'm sure you could do that, but that's not happening. But let me know what you think I should do with this in terms of, look at it sat there. Flipping out, that does look good, doesn't it? On my Instagram the other day, I showed that Ian Beale from EastEnders, where well, you know the he plays Ian Beale, he's got an M8 competition. That's chaos. I thought that was actually really cool. All right, I'm gonna watch him on EastEnders tonight. I'll see Ian Beale, you know, turning up to the Vic in his BMW M8. So you join me in the M8 where we are cruising we're luckily not in traffic. Like I say, the, the traffic is crazy at the moment. Um, but yes, in the M8, loving it. And uh, even Ian Beale's got one. So uh, that, that, <laughs> I found that so funny when I saw it. Uh, I actually quite like his senders. Anyway, let's move on to a garage update. I uh, understand that you guys might not think this is a quality content, but sometimes you need to update you all. Update my subscribers, my loyal followers, what is going on, what is coming, what is going, etc. Well, today you are going to get a full on update because, as you know, I've been uh, very busy with the racing and that has been, uh, it's been going well, well until my engine decided to blow up. Um, so, that has been a, a financial uh, strange, we say, when your engine goes bang on something like that. Today, we're going to be talking about all about my garage, what is coming, and what is going. Uh, this BMW M8 is uh, is not going anywhere. I love it. I do many many miles in it. I've already done over 3,000 miles in it, and I am not selling it anytime soon. So this is 100% uh, here to stay. It's not leaving after six months. That's not happening. Not to 60 in 2.8 seconds. I've seen tune ones. 0 to 16 2.3 or something ridiculous and we have a very exciting drag race which is coming up this week where we're putting a serious serious car supercar against this and then we'll really see how fast this car really is the scene that i sold my gt3 rs uh, i put that up for sale a fair uh well a long time ago and in the end the car was sold by redline specialist cars they sold it and uh, it went right time for that car to go. You know when you know, I did amazing miles on it. I did a road trips, I did track days, I did everything I needed to achieve with it. You own something like that. Trust me, you'll never go back. And I can just see that now. I've just never driven anything like it in my whole life. And uh, in the end, uh, there was a, a good offer on the table and I decided to take it. So why not? But those cars have leveled out and they're not really losing any money. But for me, it just, 
you know, it was the right time for that car to go. In terms of GT3 RS, I generally don't think there's gonna be a better car that I will own in my lifetime than that. Uh, A45S, that decided to, uh, well, actually, I, I'll tell you the story of that. I walked into Tony's office and he said, what are you doing with that A45S? I said, well, well, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm, I'm driving it. I actually uh, quite enjoy this car. And he was like, well, do you want to sell it? And I was like, well, why? I actually don't know why. He went, well, because I'll give you a good offer for it. Take it or leave it now. And in the end, I thought I will take it because it just allows me to get something else and mix content up as well. I think that's one thing which is very important with this channel, buying cars, etc., getting cars in which you guys are passionate about, which I'm passionate about. That's something which needs to remain. And I thought that uh, it would just allow me to do something a little bit different with the A45. One of the best cars I've ever owned, probably will ever own as well. Um, as a hatchback, it's the best. Um, and I just thought, we can spice it up, done drag races of it, done loads of stuff, and uh, we can get something insane into the garage. So I will miss it. It was epic, um, but yeah, something will replace that car. Um, supercar wise, obviously the GT3 RS went. I'm still on the hunt, to be honest with you. Just this last few months with the racing, with everything going on, it just hasn't been the right time to jump into something at the moment. Times are very odd. Uh, everything going on and it's uh, it's a strange one so I've kind of held back on the supercar front at the moment but something will come Archie Hamilton Racing YouTube channel needs a supercar on it it's not going to not have a supercar on it but in times like this when you are readjusting and uh, everything is happening I think this has been a good time for me to reflect and then just decide the next move because the next move is very important and uh, the racing has taken priority in terms of, you know, what has been going on. I want to, uh, yeah, get some victories this year. So that has been, that's why it's taken a step back. Because when you're driving around a track flat out, you don't necessarily need a supercar, but I'm also uh, very aware that you guys love supercars as well. Obviously everyone says, why have you been selling all your cars, etc. But there is something which has to replace the A45S in my eyes. And you might remember this time last year, was it this time last year? It probably was actually this time last year when I put an order in at Audi West London on an Audi RS6, the new shape. Well, how about this for a replacement for the A45? Because it's something which I I feel that I've not ticked off the list. Obviously, um, I canceled my order quite controversially um, and I know you guys are really excited for that car. And there are some options out there for me to get an Audi RS6. Well, let me just explain why I would do this, because you'd be thinking, why would you do that if you've got an M8? Well, the RS6 is something I really want to tick off the list. You could do cool mods to it, not necessarily just wrapping cars, etc. but you could do cool mods to it, wheels, exhaust, you name it. You could do it to that car and you could enjoy it and they are also holding money pretty well. So, Audi RS6, what do you reckon? Completely different cars to the uh, uh, Taycan, which more coming, but what do you think to that? I've had other options in there as well, like an AMG GTS, uh, the AMG GT four door was another one, um, and other things, but what I wanted, and a big part of this video was for you guys to get involved because there's no point me going out there, buying a car which you guys don't like. It makes sense that I like it, but then it makes sense that you guys like it as well because then the content, people watch the videos, even better, nice comments, I like nice comments. So what do you think to that idea? Obviously, if you have any other ideas, I want you to get in the comment section down below and let me know what you think should replace the A45. And before people think, I know people are thinking, he sold the GT3 RS, now he sold the A45, he must have run out of money. What's going on? Well, that's not the case. 
it's just a complete readjustment and change. The garage has completely done a full U-turn because I've obviously owned the Lamborghini, the Corvette, the Audi R8, the Range Rover SVRs and everything else. And this is, it is strange, but it's all just having a complete readjustment. And let's move on quickly to the Porsche Taycan. Obviously I've made it no secret that uh, one of those is coming to the garage. I think it's different content in terms of, it is different with it being uh, electric, but they're cool. After driving one, I got it straight away. I suddenly understood why a Taycan is so good. You drive it, it's just like being in a normal Porsche. Uh, for London, you can do 253 miles in it. And uh, I just think it's absolutely insane. Um, and the tech in it is just unbelievable. Uh, with the Taycan, you can do mods, and knowing me, I love modifying cars. I think that's one thing which I've really, really missed, and I know you guys have, because from my A45 days, when I did all the stuff to the A45, the big thing I did was modifications. Uh, with the wheels and different things, I loved it, and I really want to get that back, and that's why I kind of want the RS6 as well. M8 is not something which you're just going to go to town on, but I think with an RS6 or something, a new one, that is content where you can modify the hell out of it and do cool stuff. And I think that's cool content. Whereas I want you guys to let me know as well. And also that brings me back to the Taycan because the Taycan, I believe we can modify that. Aftermarket wheels, doing different things and just doing unique content but like I say uh, that is really the update um, and yeah supercar will come to the channel take and come to the channel and then obviously another one as well so let me know what you think get in the comments what you want to see um, and get, just get commenting fire away at the comments because these are the times when you call for your audience to let me know what you want to see uh, and then this weekend we are back racing once again at Donington Park we're there again and uh, let's hope we can get some more luck but like I said I really want to bring mega content with cars that you like what I like so you know we can all have a really good fun time of it and then take them on road trips and do cool stuff Times are changing, but it is all very exciting stuff. So I'm now all parked up in the M8 and I hope that cleared up a few different things and exciting stuff with cars in coming. But like I say, I need your help on this one. Get commenting down below what you think to the idea of RS6 or anything else. Put it in the comment section down below. I wanna involve you guys as much as I can on this channel, obviously. And uh, I hope that obviously cleared up reasons also uh, why cars have been leaving my garage so far. The sort of the real reason um, why I've been selling them, basically. It's all sort of been sell, 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 sell. SVR, GT3 RS, A45, etc. But now, it's not about selling anymore. It's about buying. So exciting stuff coming up. But like I say, get commenting down below. I'm going to run through all of the comments uh, as soon as I can. So you, I'm going to go straight through and then incoming. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very soon.